A perfect photograph is all about getting the right combination of composition and exposure. Understanding exposure is also crucial if you want to capture stunning images. And the most effective way of understanding the exposure of your image is using the exposure metering modes. There are three exposure metering modes that are commonly used in cameras these days, named Matrix Metering Mode, Center Weighted Metering Mode, and Spot Metering Mode. In this video, we are going to discuss all three types of metering modes and how you can use them in your photography. So here we start. First we have the matrix metering mode, the most widely used metering mode used by most of the photographers out there. It is also perfect for most of the image we shoot and the easiest to understand. For this reason, it is the default exposure metering mode in most of the cameras available in the market. This metering mode divides the frame into multiple parts and examines the exposure of each of those parts. Then it calculates the average exposure values and shows that average value as the overall exposure of the scene. So this metering mode works best for the environment where every part of the composition is evenly lit. Apart from that, matrix metering is also the most complicated yet intelligent metering mode of all. And thus, this metering mode also works in a variety of lighting situations. It can even recognize a brightly lit background and provides appropriate exposure to your subject. This mode is also efficient enough to recognize your focus point and provides maximum priority to it so that you get a perfect exposure of where you're focusing. If you have just started photography and don't know much about exposure meters, you should use the matrix metering mode as it is going to give you perfect exposure in almost every situation. The next metering mode we are going to discuss is the center weighted metering mode. As the name suggests, this focusing mode puts the highest emphasis on the center part of the composition. This mode uses a circle in the center and only that portion of the composition is used to measure the overall exposure value. All the other parts of the image are ignored in this case, so clearly this metering mode is perfect for those situations where the subject is in the middle part of the frame. This mode also requires the environment to be evenly lit. However, this mode is not suitable for those situations where the background of the composition is very brightly lit compared to the subject. In that situation, chances are you will end up capturing underexposed images with this mode. In short, if you have an environment that is evenly lit and your subject is placed in the middle of the frame, then the center weighted mode is the best option for you. Lastly, we are going to discuss about spot metering, which is more of a professional grade exposure mode. This metering mode analyzes the exposure of a very small portion or spot of the whole composition. Now which spot is it going to take into consideration for exposure analysis depends on the focusing area of the composition. If you move the point of focus of your composition, the spot metering will also move along and calculate the exposure of that spot. Though this metering mode calculates a very restricted area of the whole frame, it is the most accurate exposure metering of all. This mode is also suitable for product photography and portrait photography. So if you are a professional shooter with a good understanding of exposure metering and shooting a subject that fills only a small amount of area of the frame, then spot metering mode is the best available option for you. So that was all about the exposure metering modes used in almost all the cameras. Though different brands use different names, but they work in the same manner. For example, Nikon calls it Matrix Metering Mode, while Canon named it Evaluative Metering Mode. Moreover, all these metering modes also work for both manual and automatic settings. So what exposure metering mode do you use more often? Let us know in the comment section. <laughs> 